Uh, today we are going to change the fuel filters on a 22 Ram 2500. So the first filter, the outside is back here uh, on this side. And then the other one is of course underneath the hood. And uh, we'll get to that. So, a lot. so the other filter is down in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll, I'll get you up in there so we can see it. Um, you're gonna need a 28 millimeter. Uh, you're gonna need an eight millimeter. And uh, you don't really need the extension, but I use it with the wobbler. Uh, and then the second half of this, I'm gonna show you, uh, I use a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch drill bit and some line, uh, the same line actually that I used for my uh, airbags you can see here. And what I've, I've done this to the previous trucks. And what I'll do is I'll use this line here uh, so it doesn't drain all over the floor. It goes right into this dirty bucket, right? So the, whatever fuel that comes out goes into this bucket. I'm not going to reuse it. Uh, some people do. I don't. I'm just going to throw it out. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first fuel filter that we're going to do is here. Um, I will drill uh, part of this out. So you'll see this right here hole. I'll drill that out. We'll take this off. We'll allow it to drain. Um, but we'll, this is where the 8 millimeter is. We'll drill this and put the line in. And then that'll drain down here, right? So this is the driver's side. Uh, rear and of course you can see the DEF tank uh, and you know notice there's no uh, reason for the DEF tank to still be here but it still is so anyway let's uh, let's get that piece off of there shall we uh, let me drill it out a little bit hang on a second let me get this situated sure if you can hear that run but it's a draining down in there so that's what I used the two for right so you get that up in there let it drain it's not gonna be that much but you know it's enough uh, it's nasty it's gonna smell right I don't want it all over my driveway so yeah keep it clean let it drain out so we're gonna let that drain for a few minutes and then uh, we'll come back and take the filter off itself
All right, let's see what we can do to get that off now. Uh, should drain just a little bit, not much, but you know, a few drops here and there. But this tube saves a lot of mess. Yours. Hopefully yours came with a, a new, I don't know, gasket, o-ring, whatever you want to call this. You want to replace this too. So let me go get that. All right, that kind of sucked, but it's back up in there and everything's tight and good to go. So let's, uh, let's go get the other one. All right, so the next one you can see is right here, uh, down inside and right there, right? You can see the socket's already on there. Um, now this guy you have to get down in here and turn that little yellow knob, you know, just unloosen it 
uh, and turn it until it's, it stops. Not sure if you could see the o-ring that goes right here Let's see if i can pop that on for you So the yellow is tight. Um, this guy's tight. Bottom one is tight. Nasty, nasty, nasty. But at least all that fuel didn't get on the driveway. But so turn it on the first, right? And then we'll turn on the second. We'll go. See, that's the error message. All right, 
and you'll see how it says hold to reset the life so we'll hold to reset the life confirm yes there we go 100 percent so all right let's uh let's fire this bad boy back up put this where i need it there we go and let's go there we go and we should not get the um, fuel filter message and while we do have oil pressure um, we're gonna and yes that's no lie that 19.7 I actually get 22 uh, 24 if I'm on the highway uh, but here lately um, I'm when my miles start dropping I, I know to change the filters we just have dirty fuel here it doesn't matter my mileage uh, I can go sometimes 3,000 miles I can go 5,000 miles um, I can go when this thing says 25% uh, left uh, to 0% I mean it just it just varies uh, so I, I just change it whenever that mileage starts dropping down like it is right now um, so yeah we're all done Good luck, but we're gonna check for uh, for leaks and uh, you know go ahead and close this out. So, uh, good luck to you. Let me know if uh, there's something that you would do different. I'm sure there is, but you know uh, we don't always do things the same way. But hopefully uh, this will help you learn how to do it and save some money. Good luck, man.